Laura Newsberg was, as ever, entertaining and lively this morning, interviewing uh, Streeting and also Lucy Fraser. Lucy Fraser, the current um, holder of the uh, culture, um, digital culture, media and sport, or I think just the culture, media and sport bit. Uh, and she says that after losing so many council seats on Thursday, the party needs time for reflection, uh, where Streeting says the best is yet to come. But where Streeting arguably has not done, well, the Labour Party uh, has not done as well as might have been predicted. In fact, it's done exactly as well as was predicted. It's got a, it's taken a thousand seats from the Conservative Party. That is what was predicted. It's not quite as good as the council elections that took place before the landslide election of Tony Blair in the late 1970s. But it's well on that way. And I think uh, Lucy Fraser needs to reflect on two things. Not only should she uh, and the party reflect on the chaos that has been done to the reputation of the party and to the country. You know, the uh, uh, earlier, to, earlier today, I was looking at a story about um, a Republican uh, demonstration in Trafalgar Square. And Tom Brighton had telephoned a, um, a news desk and said that in the seven years since the referendum, our country has acquired a dreadful reputation internationally. And he had the uh, privilege of talking to a number of international journalists about his views. But I, particularly that view about the impact of Brexit. I'm not suggesting for the moment that Brexit was wrong. I'm suggesting that Brexit has not been accomplished and that Brexit has been miffed, muffed, uh, messed up. Nobody has yet managed to tell me what are the Brexit be benefits. There's lots of excuses, but no credible benefits. And indeed, the country has sunk to a record low. And so I think um, Lucy Fraser needs to encourage the cabinet ministers to ask which of these initiatives to get Brexit done, to, um, to get the party and the country back on its feet, uh, is failing. I would strongly suggest that the biggest initiative of failure is uh, housed in the personality and the ministry of Suella Braverman. The Home Office needs reform. The uh, Home Office Secretary of State needs replacing. And with that one act, I think the Conservative Party could well claw back a lot of the land lost and uh, possibly not have uh, the experience of a complete electoral rout at the next general election. I think Lucy Fraser also has to reflect on the fact that when constituents write to her, or when constituents write to their MP and uh, and, and the letter is passed to her, um, that uh, a failure to respond uh, in a timely manner, a failure to respond within six months, I think, um, is shocking. And this has happened more than once with each of her predecessors. And uh, there will come a point when the issues I'm trying to raise will indeed be raised and I trust Lucy Fraser, Nadine Dorries, Michelle Donnellan, uh, and um, Dowden, uh, the current uh, chair of the Conservative Party, will all have egg on their face. Because, you know, part of the job of a minister is to respond to public concerns, and the only job of a parliamentarian is to respond to the public that elected that person. So if letters are not being passed on, if letters are not being circulated, if the opinions of the public are not being digested by the party in control, then the party is no longer in control. The party is limping on, hanging on for dear life with its fingers until the next election. And that increasingly is the image given of the current Conservative Party and the people leading it.